Hello guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Alright, welcome back. We're going to be doing Nate's Mystery Can Challenge. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, this will be a mixed media piece. So for anyone who missed the earlier video, the rules are all the materials must be used. You can add up to two more materials of anything. Um, and the challenge phrase or word can be interpreted in any way you choose. So the challenge word or phrase is city lights, the concrete jungle awaits. Okay, so with that in mind, these are the materials that he sent me. Um, and I'm going to be using Floetrol and Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish as my extra. Alright, so this one is this lighter gray mixed with just Floetrol because it's a thin paint. So I didn't really need to add water. This one is this kind of greenish teal kind of color mixed with, once again, just Floetrol. This one also is metallic. And this one is this, um, it's a darker metallic gray. Also just mixed with Floetrol. And then I have this um, kind of like a rose pink kind of color. Once again, just mixed with Floetrol. All right, so this is gonna be basically the background of our painting. And I will tell you I am using, uh, reusing a canvas because I'm running low on canvases and I wanted this size specifically. Uh, but that's all good. It'll work just fine, guys. So we're gonna do, this is gonna be quite the experiment. And it's going to be, hopefully, a lot of fun. Um, we're going to do a few different techniques in here. Okay. Right. So there's that. So basically, this is going to be the sky. There is like a whole plan here, which you guys will see <laughs> as we go along. We'll see what actually happens, but I have an amazing picture in my head. Okay. All right, so essentially this is going to be our background. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this as I choose. All right, I'm not particularly happy with this. <laughs> so I'm actually going to do a swipe here and see if I can get something I like a little better. I think there was a glove in that swipe. Okay, so that's cool. That'll work. It's kind of a light gray background with some other tints in there. Okay, these gloves have got to go. They are no good. All right, now if you saw the previous video, he also sent me some cloth. So I kind of painstakingly cut out a cityscape pattern. I'm going to put some of this, um, the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish down here. This stuff is, uh, it is expensive. I'm not going to lie. And it's basically what I tend to use as my glue in mixed media paintings. Um, cause it holds very well. So I'm just going to put some of this along the bottom. 
And then I'm going to hopefully carefully put my little cityscape on here. Okay. Gotta <laughs> didn't quite go down far enough here. My sky. Alright. So I just very like loosely cut this out. So not going for anything like crazy. Going definitely more abstract. There we go. Ooh, I'm liking this so far. Okay, good. So I still have a lot of materials to use. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this dark gray and first I'm going to kind of fill in my sides here because I didn't quite cut it enough. Okay, good. Now I have all of these colors and what I basically planned on using those for is kind of as like accents on my buildings here. I also have my glitters to use. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is a very chunky, it's like glitters and beads. I have a plan for this. It is really cool. Um, let me see, I'll get you guys a close up. So there's beads and kind of stars and everything in there. So what we're gonna do with this, is I'm going to kind of go across the sky with it. Oh my gosh, I'm like crazy excited about this painting. Whoop, and star popped up, wrong place. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. I wasn't quite sure about that background, but it, it'll work out just fine. Another store up there. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of that actually. I really like that. So I'm definitely doing more kind of up here in the corner. And then having it go kind of a little more faded out over here. There we go. Love it. All right. Now we're gonna work with getting, I've actually used those two already, so I may or may not use those, but I gotta get these two colors in here. So what we're gonna do is this is going to be like accents on the buildings here. is like our main building here. Cool, okay, good. So we've got those in there. Let's get in here with some blue. Um, maybe there's some like smaller kind of buildings down here. We can put like a mini, let's do that. Let's put kind of a mini cityscape down here with the blue. Okay, so we've got some smaller, also pretty abstract buildings down here. This kind of makes me think of like um, 
I don't know if anyone's ever, whoever's been to Vegas or whatever, there's the Bellagio, which has the fountains in front. Um, and what we're gonna do down here too, is I'm gonna put a little more of this glue down here. It's not glue, but you know what I mean. And this stuff dries clear, by the way, guys. have this other glitter I'm gonna go in down here with just kind of hit the very bottom Also add a little bit of this just in my little strip here okay good but what we'll do is we're gonna actually let this um, dry a bit and then we'll come in and we'll do the close-up you know what I want to actually do one more thing with this dark gray I'm gonna add a bit more accents so that'll kind of stick up a bit okay good awesome all right so we'll let it dry and then we'll be back All right, this is now completely dry. So let's go do a bit of a close-up. Um, so you can see all that glitter that I put along the bottom there. And these little blue houses down here. Um, the cool thing is that this dark, dark gray dried basically like glitter. That's pretty cool. The sky, this stuff I love. I just love it. And um, that light silver that I used was also very glittery. So I don't know if you can see it, but the whole sky kind of has a glittery sheen to it. And there you go. Um, this will look even better when varnished or sealed. I may even resin over the top of this. I don't know. I'll decide. But there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks guys for watching. Thank you, Nate, for sending me this super fun challenge. I hope I, uh, you know, did well <laughs> and uh, lived up to expectations. And otherwise, guys, I will see you next time.